Hey guys, I thought I might do a video showing off my uh, horror movie figurines. Um, they're all strewn about the house, so uh, yeah, I'll take you around and say hello to Gunner. He's my, um, my little cat. Of course named after Gunner Hansen. <laughs> um, yeah, he's cool. Well anyway, I'll show you what I've got. And also look. Here's my fish, here's uh, Oscar fish, related to the um, piranha. He's pretty uh, docile and you can actually play with him and pat him. It's quite large too, as you can see. It's pretty cool. And he's named after Genghis Khan because he's very ferocious. He, yeah, he can eat live bait, um, usually gets frozen food, but um, yeah, he's capable of taking down small fish, so even mice, some people feed him mice, but I find that a bit morally inept, so I don't do that, but yeah, he's pretty cool. As you can see, he follows my, my hand. Anyway, um, up on top of his light, you can see Jason, I think that's a, it'd be about, I think it's a, 18 inch, and that's from part three. Sorry if you can't see this very well, but yeah, he's sitting up on top of his Genghis's light. Next, we have ooh, getting focus that leather face that um, I showed in my update is a 12 inch. He's on his stand now, it's pretty cool. As I said, leather face is my favorite. Um, next up, we have Michael and he's an 18 inch. He's really detailed. I don't know if you can see it uh, but yeah he's pretty cool. I think he's modeled off it's either the first or the second one. Just take a look. He's also got this button on his back you can press. It's pretty cool, but every time this guy falls off or gets knocked off a shelf by one of the cats, that sound will s start off, you know, uh, by itself. <laughs> Scares the shit out of you sometimes, but yeah. Uh, next up we have... See, here we go. Shut up. <laughs> Alright, next up, here's the uh, Jason one. I think this one's modelled off... Uh, the seventh film. Again, he's an 18 inch. Um, he's got a cool little chain and everything. He's trademark machete. Ah, uh, yeah, Michael's got his kitchen knife, but same thing with this one. He's got a button on his back you can press. Um, I'll just get him out for a better look so you can see him. Yeah, he's very detailed. His mask is removable again. So, um, I'll take that off for you. And yeah, there's his, there's Jason. Very detailed, these are pretty cool. They're made out of like this hard um, plastic, unlike the leather face, which is um, got real cloth kind of clothing. With this one, I haven't got the batteries in there, but I think he just does the, uh, Friday the 13th thing, you know, the kind of kick, 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 ma, 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 that thing. Um, yeah. Alright, there's my crappy TV out here in the lounge room. Um, next up we got the 18 inch uh, Freddy Krueger. Same series. Um, he's pretty cool again. Let's take that off for you so you can see him. Yeah, very detailed as you can see. Oh, they're really cool. Uh, same thing, he's got a button on his back, but no batteries in this one. Uh, I got a few in the display cabinet. Lots of kind of merchandise in there. There's a, a saw promotional thing, it's for the first film. It's actually pieces that can be taken apart it's a postcard but 
Yeah, some other stuff in there. Um, might have to take this all down because the uh, things actually behind it. Oh, I can show you this one first actually. There's a uh, Chucky. It's from the first film I think or is it the third? Something like that. He's pretty huge too. I'd say he's about 25 inches. He's kind of like a little plush toy so yeah he's pretty cool. Uh, oh, there's another one. Napoleon Dynamite. <laughs> I love that film. Um, as you can see the vote for Pedro top. It's got a little button again. It caught you a delicious bath. Just quotes from the film. Um, see what else we've got in here before I have to take all this stuff out. Um, there's a Norman Bates. I think that's uh, that'd be about what is it? I don't know. It's pretty small, so. 8 inch or 12 inch, something like that. Again, same series of Freddy Krueger. Uh, Leatherface. There's some le uh, Texas Chainsaw playing cards and some uh, Friday the 13th ones. They're pretty cool. Uh, and there's a Jason Goes to Hell. Pretty hard to see, sorry. Um, and in the back there, this one's still in the box. Uh, Freddy vs. Jason. <laughs> I don't know really why I've got this one, but anyway, it's pretty cool, I suppose. Again, they're pretty small, so I think they're 12 inches. And uh, here's the alien from uh, Alien 3, and the little chest burster thing. Uh, down here, with all the books and stuff, we've got Bobblehead. And. Uh, it's a Jason. It's pretty cool again. He's like a book stand. He helps hold up my books. So yeah, some other stuff in there. Um, well, lastly, I'll just show you this one before I pull out all the stuff to get this other one out. Uh, same kind of thing. It's a bobblehead Freddy Krueger, and he helps hold up my DVDs. I'm on the last shelf now, so I need to yeah, find somewhere else to put them. Right, I'll just get this out for you. Right, uh, here's the Friday the 13th, 25th anniversary box set. And uh, this one's from number two, as you can see, Jason's got the, the bag over his head. Sorry if the lighting's not that great, but it's stuck right at the back. Uh, there's Pamela, uh, his mother. Yeah, so that one's pretty cool. Again, I think they're 12 inches, so a bit smaller, but it's still pretty cool. Um, I think, I'm trying to think if there's anything else. I guess I could show you what I watch all my movies on. Um, this is a 40 inch uh, Samsung HD TV, it's full 1080p. Um, series 6, it's got that kind of red crimson trim, uh, I got that last year, early last year, uh, it's a very good TV, watch all my stuff on there now, there's another figurine but probably not interested, it's a Fallout one for the game, there's my 360, um, yeah so watch all my films on this, Blu-rays, DVDs, here's a uh, the player I use, it's a Samsung uh, Blu-ray player, it's got a pretty good upscaler in there too, so yeah, I watch all my uh, DVDs on there, it's uh, region free for regular DVDs, not for Blu-rays though, which, are, which is a pity, but yeah, it's still pretty cool. Um, there's some more DVDs, these are all my ones that aren't horror, as you can see, it's like Arrested Development, Twin Peaks, Dexter, Dexter Season 1's not there, I don't know what that is. Um, some other stuff in there, The Office, and there's some other movies down there. Um, yeah, I could show you this TV in action if you want. I'll just put a film on for you. Right, I just closed the window so you can get a better look. Uh, it's pretty, this is Iron Legend Blu-ray. Um, I don't know how well this is being picked up on the camera. It keeps dropping out of focus, but yeah, it's really clear. I'd recommend this TV if you were going to get one. 
Um, it's an LCD, so you don't have to worry about the burn-in with plasma. Um, also, I got this Blu-ray uh, free with the TV as a promotional deal, and it's really good uh, product. Again, it's got 24 frames per second, so you can watch in regular uh, movie mode. So yeah, it's really good TV. And you'll probably notice I don't have any surround sound. This room is really not that well equipped for it. It's not the best shape, so uh, yeah, I'm gonna have to look into that in the future, but this has got pretty good speakers on it, so I'm pretty happy. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed it. Um, leave a comment and rate, and yeah, cheers, have a good day. Thanks for watching.